station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Oh, there's definitely a hatred as I feel like we should have uh, another Big Ten banner uh, hanging our rafters, but it's not there. Illini players still haven't forgotten how last year ended with Michigan less than 24 hours now from the rivalry with the Wolverines getting renewed. The Illini are hoping for a repeat performance from last March. We were there to capture these moments right after the game when Illinois blew out Michigan by 23. At that point, the Orange and Blue thought it would earn them at least a share of the regular season Big Ten title. Didn't end up playing out that way with the league office deciding Michigan would have the crown to itself based off win percentage, even though Illinois had two more conference wins. Now the two teams meeting for the first time since that fateful night in March. It's been a game circled on the calendar for players and fans for a long time, in part because of the talk between the two teams. Wolverines big man Hunter Dickinson said on social media over the summer, quote, nobody in the Big Ten, and I mean nobody likes Illinois. And Illinois took that personally. But the way they talk on social media, uh, the way our fans talk about them, I definitely feel a strong hatred uh, uh, and rivalry between them. Just two teams that, you know, I guess don't like each other, I guess. Uh, I mean, we know we're going to get their best punches. You know, we're gonna, just going to be ups and downs. You know, last season we were the two best teams in the league. You know, you, we had uh, some outside circumstances involved that, you know, whatever they were, uh, but uh, we know it's a, it's a really good basketball team, and yet it makes college basketball fun, these type of games. Should be a lot of fun tomorrow night. An update on Andre Curbelo now. The Illini point guard unlikely to play against the Wolverines, but Brad Underwood says some encouraging news announcing he's returning to practice in a limited role. Curbelo only played in four games this season, hasn't suited up since November 23rd after suffering a concussion earlier in the year. Everything's based on conditioning, and again, everything happens. What he does one day, it's the reaction to that. That determines what he's been able to do and, and, and push through, and so we're gaining ground on that. We're not going to put him out there until he's in the kind of shape he's in. So it's kind of a one step forward, two steps forward, one step back, and then we've got to reevaluate, but, but we're moving in the right direction. Sounds positive for Curbelo and the Illini. Here's the matchup for tomorrow. Michigan coming off a COVID-19 pause. Their last game was nine days ago. The Wolverines lost back-to-back -back games in three out of their last four. Illinois about a nine and a half point favorite eight o'clock tip on FS1 and for even more coverage make plans to watch us at six Andy Olson will be live courtside then at 630 our your Illini nation pregame show with continuing coverage Derek Piper from Illini Inquirer will be there ready to go for the game.